Welcome aboard the escapade. Are you ready to go on an adventure beneath the surface? Below your dive boat lies one of the ocean's best kept secrets, a place very few have seen with their own eyes. This team from Bay Area Underwater Explorers has been preparing for months for this exciting undersea mission. They are wearing a closed circuit rebreather which allows these modern day explorers to go to deeper depths using less breathing gas than typical scuba diving. Welcome to Cordell Bank National Marine Sanctuary. This is one of the most wild places on our blue planet. It is located just 20 miles off the coast of Point Reyes, California, a spot of hope for ocean life. This amazing undersea world may be just offshore, yet very few people have ever ventured below the surface to see it. This sanctuary protects over 1,200 square miles of ocean habitat and is one of many national marine sanctuaries around the United States managed by NOAA. Look all around you. These schools of rockfish are a welcome sight for these divers. Rockfish come in a variety of shapes and sizes and are known for their long lives. Some species along the Pacific coast live up to 150 years. With their intricate patterns and striking hues, rockfish are a sight to behold and an important part of the marine ecosystem of California. Here we are about 150 feet below the surface. Scan the reef below you. From anemones, to sponges, to corals, Every centimeter is covered with life. The abundant pink anemone looking creatures are called strawberry anemones. Interestingly, they are actually more closely related to corals than anemones. They use their tentacles to catch prey and even reproduce by cloning themselves. Look down and in front of you at the reef. Can you spot the decorator crab? It uses anemones and sponges to blend in with its surroundings. Who knew that our cold California waters had such tropical looking reefs? These fragile, colorful corals that you see are called hydrocorals. Unlike tropical coral reefs that depend on photosynthetic algae for food, these deep water corals rely on the current to bring nutrients to them. Like a tree in the forest, they provide structure for smaller animals to shelter on the reef. As the divers return to the surface, they must stop and hover at shallower depths to allow the nitrogen gas that has built up in their tissues to be slowly released. This is called a decompression stop. Look over there in front of you. You are face to face with an ocean sunfish. This is the heaviest bony fish in the world reaching up to 10 feet in length and weighing up to 5,000 pounds. This particular species is the Mola Mola. With its flattened body and distinctive shape, the Mola Mola glides effortlessly through the water, feeding on a diet of jellies and other tiny gelatinous marine creatures. What do you think happened to its lower fin? It could have been many things, but this could be the result of a failed attack by a predator such as a California sea lion. Speaking of jellies, these divers are greeted by many species throughout their journey to Cordell Bank. Among the creatures that share these waters with the rockfish are the mesmerizing egg yolk jellies. These translucent creatures get their name from their distinctive bright yellow coloration, which resembles the yolk of an egg. 
Despite their fragile appearance, egg yolk jellies are actually quite hardy and can survive in a variety of conditions. As we continue our decompression stop, we come across the majestic Pacific sea nettle. This beautiful jelly is made up of 95% water. Although their sting can be painful to humans, they are an important part of the marine ecosystem, providing food for a variety of predators like mola mola and leatherback turtles. Places as healthy and vibrant as Cordell Bank used to be abundant throughout the world. However, now they are the exception rather than the rule. Humans affect the ocean in a variety of ways. Just as we can negatively affect places in our ocean through habitat destruction, pollution, and improper disposal of waste, we can positively affect it by making sustainable choices and keeping these treasured areas like Cordell Bank clean and healthy. This complex, diverse ecosystem provides habitat for countless species of mammals, fish, and invertebrates. It is here that we witness the beauty and power of the ocean and are reminded of the importance of preserving these fragile environments for generations to come. A healthy ocean is vital for all humans. It provides so much for all of us. What activities can you do to help keep places like Cordell Bank National Marine Sanctuary healthy and vibrant into the future?